Technology has infiltrated virtually every aspect of our lives. We are now provided with what seems like endless amounts of data about the world around us, but what has been lacking is information about the most important and complex system of all, our own bodies. That is, until recently. The winner of the Sloan Alpha Award has created Human, the Human Monitor. You know, it seems crazy that you know you wake up, you drive to work, and you know more about your car and what to do with your car than your own body. So everything started um, as part of a research project um, where we did with MIT Sloan, where the premise was that technology and biology would come together to create something amazing to help all of us understand more about our body. This is a device that measures uh, the oxygen level within muscles. So this is related to a problem that the endurance athletes in particular face, which is knowing how hard to push themselves uh, but without exceeding the limits of their body. So we basically went out into the market and asked a whole lot of people uh, one question, which was, if there was one thing that we could tell you about your body that would change your life, what would you want to know? They told us their lactic acid threshold, because again, this is what they know today is kind of associated with this, this limit and how to train. So the way to identify your body's limit today is to do this lactic acid threshold test. So to go to a lab, train on a treadmill stationary bike, while a nurse will come prick your fingers every three to five minutes to identify the intensity at which lactic acid starts accumulating. And that's an expensive, invasive, inconvenient process um, that you, know, you cannot leverage every day. You know? Whereas with this device, you just strap it on and go. It's a wearable that works on any skin type, any skin color, any muscle, any fat level, any type of athlete. We shine a light or multiple different colors of light into the muscle. Uh, that light scatters throughout the muscle and uh, then we record or measure the light at these different sensors. And based on how the properties of that light change, when we measure it, we know kind of what color the blood is within the muscle um, and then therefore how much oxygen is in that blood. We've shipped this device to this small community of alpha testers so they can help us understand how these athletes want the feedback. So, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of thinking of integrated feedback on a watch, maybe vibration, taptic feedback, um, having it connect to your bike computer, your smartwatch. This is um, a bunch of things we can do. We just want to make sure we do the right ones at the right time. And that's why today we just did the mobile app to kind of stay focused. And, and we're in the process of integrating the rest uh, before launch. The goal was really to just get it out on, on pros and, and kind of give it out. And we had such a great response from local athletes who were itching to buy it. We kind of agreed to sell them, uh, sell them some of those devices. So uh, we've kind of, you know, essentially asked them to do something that ordinarily we would have had to pay them for, which is doing interviews and filling out surveys and coming to our office and really kind of working for us. But they were so excited about it, uh, they were willing to pay for it. Sport Techie and Nesson.com will be partnering to produce more content, so make sure to keep it at sporttechie.com for all your sports technology news.